Hi guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I'm getting ready to go to a holiday party and it's not until the evening, but we're just going after work because it's like an after work holiday party. I always hate when I'm in a hurry and I kind of am in a hurry because I only have like a few minutes. Well, I have more than like a few minutes. I probably have like half an hour. I'm not gonna dry my hair because I don't have time, but I'm just gonna throw some spray in it and then probably just like brush it out when I get to work because I have a brush in my bag like I showed in another video. This is just the Orbe um, heat protectant spray and I'm just putting this on because I thought I was gonna have enough time to dry my hair but I probably don't. I use this like when I'm gonna be like harder on my hair. You can get it off Amazon. It's just like a spray and it smells pretty good. I just spray this on. I just kind of knead it into my hair. I keep on contemplating on wearing like booty shorts or something underneath this or like biker shorts which I probably I might wear. I don't know. I'm still debating. I have on red tights. Oh my gosh. I should have gotten up earlier. I got up around 6.45. 6.45? Yeah. Or 6.30. I don't know. But I was going to get up earlier because I had to edit my video too. I need to make sure that's like scheduled and everything. I swear this has just gotten like so big on me. Okay. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I needed to edit my video and get it up today. And that took like an hour. So that's why I only have like a limited amount of time to get ready and like get to downtown. Definitely taking tolls today because I'm just going to need to and that's that. I normally don't, but you know, in certain circumstances I do, obviously. I'm gonna take lip products in my bag. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't need anything else in this. I hate having to like, get ready so fast but it's okay i know i'm just like rambling <laughs> i thought this was gonna be like a fun like chit chat get ready with me but it's more just like me rushing also i got this new beauty blender it's not the hot pink it's more like a faded pink and it's holding up really well i think it's because i keep it like outside of the little bag or what my makeup bag and it sits in that little cone you know but it's held up pretty well, so that's good. I don't put that much concealer on, to be honest, because I don't find it, I really need a lot, so I just put a little on, just like that. So, I guess I will talk about... Okay, I really wanted to make a main channel type video about this, but like, I won't because I need something to talk about here and it's more like casual, like get ready with me. So we're just gonna talk about it and I guess it's like a little bit negative, but I swear negativity on YouTube like performs a lot better than positivity. Did you guys know that like my Disney vlogs half of the time get like less views than like my sit down talk videos? And I find that to be like kind of crazy because when I actually like put a lot of effort into my videos, they like don't perform <laughs> as well as when I throw up just like any old thing. Like one of my most highest viewed videos is like a review video I did that was like a filler because I had nothing else to post and that ended up like making me like the most money. Well, other than like my adoption videos, I'm not really, this is before like I started out like being more adoption related. So it was like a review about um, this like, it's not a diet pill, it's like to help your digestion, I don't know. But anyway, I gotten like a lot of like hate comments on it, which is, they're like not even hate, it's more like funny that people are like, this is the worst review ever. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I wasn't even trying. But anyway, the topic for today is my least favorite holiday, which I must say my least favorite holiday is, can you guess, can you guess, try to type it in the comments. I never vlog this holiday, well actually I do vlog that holiday. Well I have in the past, 
but it is new year i hate new year's like with a passion i don't think i've well i actually have had a good new year's i have had a new year's kiss so that's good you know check that off the bucket list but i hate new year's it doesn't even like matter like who's with me i just hate it so much because i just want to get the new year started with like stop with the celebrations you know like let's get a move on it like especially like 2020 obviously has not been like great great so and like 2021 has been all right um but and like new year's resolutions and like all of that stuff i'm just like not a big fan of you should always try to be improving and like setting goals like the new year shouldn't be like the only time you know so i hate it too because when i was like little um sometimes my parents would like with their friends like go to disney and like they would go to the bar and then like me and my friends would just be like there playing and that's when i didn't have an iphone like I remember the iPhone recently came out, like the very first one, and my friend got one, and I'm like, dude, if I'm gonna be sitting here, like, I need an iPhone too, you know what I'm saying? And I was like so jealous. There is times when like, this part of the reason why I don't like Snapchat, which I'm gonna make a whole like main channel style video on, because like I want that to be like more organized and like conceptual, um, but part of me would like with my friends like see everyone like that got invited to like the parties and stuff shoot i gotta get a move on it um i would see like all these people that would get invited to the parties and i wouldn't obviously get invited and i would see that like mainly like on snapchat i think it was because like the filters and stuff and I would be like, uh, no, like, I don't want to see that. That, like, hurts my feelings. You know, no one wants to be, like, not invited. I'm that type of person. I don't know if you guys, like, watch KK and BBJ. I know some of you do. But <laughs> Karen's like, I want to be the one invited, but I'll just be playing, like, Animal Crossing in the corner. Like, yeah, that's me pretty much. Like, I'm very much just, like, on my phone or, like, you know taking pictures not really i mean i do drink or whatever but like i don't know i'm very much like introverted so um yeah but like i still want to be invited you know like even if i choose like not to go or like i don't know i still want to have that option so i always like see people like together that like i want to be invited to and yeah it was just like kind of lame in a sense because like i wanted to be invited and it was always new year like and sometimes thanksgiving but not that much and i didn't really care about thanksgiving because of the fact that like i was always with my family so it was like i couldn't even go even if i was invited so i don't really like focus on that but yeah it was definitely new year that was like always like the suckish holiday uh, my second least favorite holiday would definitely be Valentine's Day because, like, I've almost never had a Valentine and don't really care to celebrate that. Uh, just kind of makes me bitter, um, and I try not to be bitter about things, but it's fine. And the thing is, I just, it's like one day and that's kind of like how I look at it. I don't even know if I've, like, put on enough of this. I'm just like making sure she's all blended. So yeah, it's just like that holiday is just not what I like or wanna, you know, celebrate a whole ton of. Next, let's do bronzer. Rushing the makeup. <laughs> rushing, 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 but it's okay. Okay, another thing or topic I can talk about would be like being the single one at parties. Cause like, I will say um, it is difficult if you are a single person at a party, like don't feel like you're the alone because like I'm with your sister or brother um, for that matter. Being like one of the single people at parties, I think that's why like the holidays for me are just so difficult because like during the year, you know, you're on the grind, like you're not really like paying attention too much about like what you don't have i guess but like the holidays it gives you more time to like reflect in some circumstances and it's just like i find that 
the holidays are just a little bit more hard because like you do have more parties, you do have like more gatherings. And since even if it is with family, like my family obviously gets together like normally during the holidays. And typically, um, like most of the time, like all of my cousins like have some a significant other in some respect. And like typically, like normally, I don't have a significant other and it's just like a little difficult um because like during the year like I mean if you're just looking if you're taking me as an individual person like having a mate or significant other boyfriend girlfriend is not like I try not focus on that because like in my heart I know it'll come at the most perfect time and it'll be like the right person for me but during the holidays like I focus on it more and I think it's just because of the fact there's more time to like think about it. And then, you know, you're wrapping up another year and you're just like, oh, another year, you know, thinking, you know, oh, it would be nice to have someone. So I must say like, it is difficult at times. That's why the holidays are harder because like during the year, like, well, I just said this, <laughs> but it's a lot easier cause you just, you're busy during life and everything. And there's no like huge reflection time given the fact that you have more time, you have more parties where you don't have a significant other. I will say it is hard and it does, it is upsetting. Um, you're just like, oh, what? That's why I honestly, I joked around about this on my Twitter, but I was like, you know, I need like a rent your boy, rent a boyfriend type thing where like you have a person that you can just like bring to parties. <laughs> And like take pictures with and then like after that like, you know, you're done um, That would be like amazing. So Yeah, um, that's pretty much my thoughts on that There's just certain things. It's just hard, you know, man like so many other things in my life has have come just so naturally and um, have been just fallen into place. That's how I know like everything in my life will fall into place so um orderly and nice and you know if something's not meant to be it's just not meant to be so yeah okay i'm almost done i have like 15 more minutes here we got this we got this this is always the hardest part the eyebrows they are always so difficult they stress me out i always like leave them to the last minute because I don't like doing them. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is This is the outfit I'm wearing. My hair will eventually dry. Hopefully I don't have to like reach up because uh it's kind of short, but it is school rules where like the sweater goes past my like arms when I my arms are down, so it's good. Okay, so I'm testing out this wet brush too and it's pretty good it doesn't pull out that much hair a plus with this brush but i must say this is a really really pretty venue here oh i should put on wide angle there we go it is so pretty in here and look at the view That is going to be it for this video. I have to get a move on it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.